lot of fear out there. Yeah. There's a lot of fear out there. And it's understandable because people are hearing these horrible stories about lots of people dying in Mexico. I mean, it's I that to you. Okay. Emergency room visits surged in New York City this week after a Queens school official with swine flu died. This family, worried about their daughter, traveled from Brooklyn. The pediatrician told you to come to the hospital, or just to just, just make yeah. preventive, to make uh, taking a chest X-ray, make sure that everything that she's breathing properly, and uh -huh. that's the only reason why we're here. And did she way. get the chest X-ray? Yeah. No, the, he she listened to her breathing and said, uh -huh. "It's not necessary. Mm, leave her alone. Let her get back in bed." We're done. Parents and schools yeah. seem confused so, about how to react. No, my mom's at work right now. Doctors here at Schneider's Children's Hospital in Queens are taking their cues from the city's health department and the Centers for Disease Control. They are calmly addressing the rush of patients. The overwhelming ma uh, majority of the children are being seen in the flu center mm -hmm. and are being sent home with no testing and no treatment. Mm -hmm. Nothing. The overwhelming majority. Instead, the doctors say, treat this flu like any other. Stay in bed and drink plenty of fluids. If your child is previously healthy, and their condition now is flu-like, but in such a manner that you ordinarily would not have taken them to the hospital, you shouldn't take them to the hospital. So we're going to take them home and put them in bed.